Welcome back to Trading Day Live. Let's go straight to the currency market. Take a look at where the Aussie dollar is sitting right now, 74 and a half US cents. And of course, bond markets are interesting to get a bit of an idea and a signal of how markets are tracking ahead of that British referendum. Let's bring in Jonathan Sheridan from Fig Securities now. And Jonathan, where are you seeing global bonds at the moment in the lead up, of course, to that referendum? Good afternoon, Ingrid. Yes, you're right. Uh, bond markets typically tend to be a bit of a better indicator of uh, generally how things are travelling, uh, more more based in reality than prospects, I think, um, if that's not too harsh an indictment on my equity colleagues. But uh, we've seen yields back up from their lows that they reached at the end of last week, just as markets have been a bit more comfortable with the result of the uh, of the referendum being a remain conclusion and uh, you know we've seen a bit of a risk on tone and, and in that in that sense of uh, where markets are heading we've seen yields rise up uh, about 10 points across the curve all right what about in terms of here and ho here at home are we seeing different action in the, in the bond market yeah, look, to be honest, in the last month or so, uh, the real action's been in uh, in early redemptions and, mm. and calls, and we saw that uh, earlier this week with funds finally being paid from a QBE redemption. They took out uh, almost 600 million US dollars of their 2021 callable uh, subordinated bond, and we've seen clients replace that with uh, the new issue that uh, the QBE are using to just extend their tenor slightly, a 2026 call uh, again subordinated but 5.875 coupon and uh, trading about 102 so about mm. a five and a half percent yield which is a big pickup on uh, what we're seeing in, in the generic curve for example about two percent and there's still a bunch of new issuance issuances coming online as well yeah that's right we're seeing a couple that uh, that sound a bit interesting uh, one's a bit specky from the uh, png government um, they tried about uh, three or four years ago to get a US dollar bond away without success. Uh, we're seeing this one being touted around uh, in investor meetings across the globe with a 10% plus handle. Um, still, I mean, <clears throat> you know, even, even with a, uh, I think they're rated single B minus as a credit, um, that still seems, you know, a bit, a bit interesting. Mm. Uh, you, it's very hard to enforce your rights against the sovereign, of course. And uh, the other one that we're looking at, which is a great diversifier to portfolios, is from Biostime, which is the Chinese milk formula producing company which bought Swiss uh, multivitamins in 2015. And, and they've done a seven and a quarter coupon five year, which has rallied hard off the issue last week and trading around 103 or about 6.6%. Mm. All right. Thanks for that, Jonathan Sheridan. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Jonathan Sheridan there from Fig Securities with the latest on the bond markets. Let's